The next 24 hours are critical for Florida and all of the southeastern United States. For my radar, I'm meteorologist Leslie Hudson. Disorganized Erica so far has not had good tropical traction, and Erica has its biggest hurdle yet, the mountains over Hispaniola. The mountaintops are higher than 10,000 feet, and that will have a significant impact on an already disorganized system. It's how Erica reorganizes, or doesn't, this weekend that will set many states into action. Early Friday, Florida Governor Rick Scott declared the entire state of Florida an emergency, something that hasn't happened since Hurricane Wilma slammed into the Sunshine State, leaving many parts of the state without power. Stay informed all weekend and know this is, this is we're in hurricane season. This is part of being, being, a, a, uh, being prepared for your family, taking care of each and every one of your family members. The emergency declaration gives Florida wide latitude to prepare for a storm. It also gives authorities the ability to waive tolls and allows emergency crews and vehicles to move throughout the state. More than 8,000 National Guard are also getting in place along Florida's coast should Erica or some form of it come calling. Several counties around the state opened sandbag filling stations for residents worried about flooding. Downtown Miami is undergoing a major renovation, which could mean major flooding for the large metropolitan city. Just in case, getting ready, because it says that it will come with water, lots of water. Erica has proven to be a formidable opponent with catastrophic floods on the island of Dominica. At least 14 people died and another 25 people are missing after over 10 inches of rain fell in less than 24 hours. The government is under fire after it failed to issue a tropical storm warning before Erica hit. A swift moving Erica swept by Puerto Rico Thursday night. Look closely and you can see a small center of circulation as it twists off towards the west. We'll be using uh, mass media to communicate with parents, particularly as we go into the weekend uh, when the potential uh, impact of the storm will be felt. If and when Erica lands in the U.S., Erica will be quite capable of causing flash floods and widespread power outages, as well as coastal erosion and flooding. And for that reason alone, it will be a long weekend for many parts of the southeastern U.S. For My Radar, I'm meteorologist Leslie Hudson.